Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook we are making chocolate Guinness beer cake. I posted this recipe for Father's Day but I didn't get around to doing the video so here we go, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with our dry ingredients here. I have my all-purpose flour in the large bowl. I'm gonna add in some salt, a little bit of baking soda, and now we're gonna throw in that cocoa powder, lots and lots of cocoa powder. I'm using Hershey's brand, I think. We're gonna go ahead and whisk this around, get everything well combined, okay? I could've used a bigger bowl, a small bowl, girl. All right, so now we're gonna work on creaming our butter and sugar. I'm gonna add my butter into a large bowl, just like this right here, perfect. And then I'm gonna add in my brown sugar, I'm gonna throw in my white sugar, and then I'm just gonna blend it. I mean, not blend, but what am I doing? I'm mixing. We're gonna mix it until it is all creamy and stuff, just like this right here. Perfect, we're gonna throw in two little eggs, well actually it's two large eggs, until it is nice and creamy, mix it on up, and then we're gonna add in lots and lots of vanilla extract. Now I know I promised you guys that I would have Ethan helping me out in this video, but you guys, Ethan is just not ready for the videos like Isaac was. They are two different kids now. Can you put down the foil please? Ethan, can you put down the foil paper? Okay, seriously? Yeah, so we're gonna wait on that. Okay, we're gonna add our sour cream into this batter. We're gonna fold it in until it's well combined. This is gonna make our cake so doggone thick and moist. I love adding sour cream to cake. Okay, now we're gonna mix our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients until everything is combined. You can just fold it in or you can break out that mixer to really get everything mixed in, just like this right here. Perfect, looks good. Kind of grainy looking, but yeah, that's how it should look, okay? Next, we're gonna add in our Buttermilk, this is gonna add lots of moisture. I love adding buttermilk to cakes, okay? Add that buttermilk, go ahead and mix it in, and now it's time for the black coffee. Black coffee really just pumps up that chocolate flavor. It's not gonna taste like um, coffee, so don't worry about that. Just gonna give it a nice, good flavor. Go ahead and mix it in until everything is all silky and smooth like this, and now it is time for our beer. I hate beer with a passion, you guys, but I want to like it. It looks so good in those commercials. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, but I just don't like it. To me, it just tastes like earwax, and don't ask me how I know what earwax tastes like, okay? I was just a very, very interesting child, all right? Okay, so we're going to pour our cake batter into our prepared pans. That looks good. Make sure you get them nice and even too, okay? And pour all that batter and don't leave no batter in that bowl, y'all. Get it all in there. We're gonna bake it at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes when they come out of the oven. Let them cool off completely before removing them from your pan. Get your little spatula and then very, very, very easily and gently go around the sides of this pan and kind of loosen that cake up a bit and it'll come out super, super easy like this right here. Let them cool off completely. While they're cooling off, we're gonna make some frosting. I'm using like a buttercream um, frosting, a chocolate buttercream. Cream. Add your butter into the bowl, throw in some melted chocolate, yum. Mix it up until it's nice and creamy like this right here. It looks good, butter and chocolate, perfect. We're gonna add in some powdered sugar a little bit at a time. We don't wanna add too much here. Just add a little bit, mix it up, and then add in the rest of it. The batter's gonna start getting, I mean the um, frosting's gonna start getting really, really thick. And this is when you add in your milk. I'm using some almond milk because almond milk and chocolate, mm, that's good together, okay? Go ahead and mix that up. My voice is still struggling, you guys. These allergies are taking me down, taking me down. Go ahead and throw in some of that um, cocoa powder, okay? Mix that up really good. Gonna cream in stuff. And now we're gonna add in lots and lots of vanilla extract. You could also use some almond extract. That's really good, too, so looks good. That's perfect. Perfect buttercream chocolate buttercream frosting. You can really use any kind of frosting you want, okay? But yeah, I want a chocolate on chocolate because that's how my husband likes it, okay? Obviously. All right, so now we're gonna just frost this cake up. And one of my viewers gave me a really good tip. She said, Monique, since you suck at frosting cakes, here's what you do. You wanna place it into the fridge when you put on that last layer. Don't frost it, just place it into the fridge and it'll set those layers really beautifully. And I said, that is a good tip. I'm gonna try that next time, but I didn't because yeah. Okay, I'm hard-headed. You already know. Go ahead and frost this cake up. And this icing, you guys, was a dream to work with. It almost looked like I knew what I was doing, right? I mean, it almost kind of looks good. It was so easy. All right, there's my cake. It has that signature Divas Can Cook Gangsta Lean. Y'all know how I do. Go ahead and slice it up, serve it up. You have to serve this cake with vanilla ice cream. Oh, my God, vanilla ice cream and this chocolate beer cake goes so well together. And don't worry, it does not taste like beer. It just has a little, little twang to it, you know. And there you have it, you guys. The texture is so thick and moist, but yet it is 
fluffy and pillowy. It's kind of kind of strange. But yeah, this recipe is on my blog, thewisoncook.com. Go on over there and check it out, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Later.